This just shows that you can take the man out of Florida, but you can't take the Florida out of the man. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to talk about a funny story that was in California that dealt with a Florida man. So he left Florida and still committed stupid Florida crimes in another state. And then we're also gonna talk about something a little more serious, which is going to be the church shooting that happened in Houston, Texas on the day of the Super Bowl. So before we get started on that, if you're interested in any type of law enforcement content, I do everything from body camera views to body camera breakdowns, shooting breakdowns, we go over news articles, Funny news events, we like to have some fun over on the channel because there's a lot of serious stuff out there, but you have to find fun in the middle of it as well. Uh, into product reviews, product torture testing, everything like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you could hit the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Florida always has, like, they, there must be something in the water there. Florida man charged with stealing an airplane and crashing it on a California beach. Now, you know, my first instinct to that was Florida to California, he flew it all that way. That's a really long way. How could he have done that? And then I used my brain and I was like, that's probably not what happened. Obviously, it's a Florida man that was in California and he stole an airplane and then crashed it on a beach in California. And this man was 50 years old. Florida does not discriminate in age. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. Y'all just do the wildest shit. So here's the airplane. This is what it looked like. The gentleman crashed it and he got out and just walked away from it. Here is this badass Polaris right here from San Mateo County Sheriff's Department. I just, I just want to drive one of those things across the sand on the beach as fast as it'll go. Like it just seems like so much fun. Am I thinking like a Florida man now? So this states on February 7th, 2024, about 5 p.m., Half Moon Bay, California. San Mateo County Sheriff's Office received a call of a small airplane landing or crashing near or on the beach. As we can see from the picture, it obviously, he probably landed it and the sand got bought up, caught up on the wheels and it tilted over horse. He flew it 24 miles from where he crash landed it at. So, I mean, he obviously knew what he was doing. If you put me in an airplane, I don't know if I could fly at 24 miles. I would probably crash a lot sooner than that. I don't even know if I would get it off the ground. He actually got out of it and walked away from it. And the bystanders gave the deputies a physical description and they were actually able to find him in the close proximity of the area around it and be able to identify him. Have you ever been to California? I don't know anything about San Francisco. I have been to LA before, um, but I've never been to San Francisco. This says that it was about 30 miles south of Poplar Beach. Actually, let's just look it up real quick. All right, so there it is. So there's Half Moon Bay. So Poplar Beach is right here. So yeah, that is going to be, oh, whoa, stop it. That is going to be just south of San Francisco just like the news stated. It's a miracle. They were right. Now to get in a little more serious one, this one actually took place on February 11th, 2024. It was on Super Bowl Sunday. It was actually in Joel Olstein's mega church in Houston. It was a shooting that took place at the church. We don't know too much about it. Uh, the thing is in this news article that I read, I have actually, I have people that work in this area that are from Houston or have people that work in Houston. So I can confirm that all of the things that we're gonna go over right now, I have heard that were actually true. As of right now, what we do know is that a female between the ages of 30 to 35, they have not identified her or given us any information about her. She entered the west side of the mega church and she entered in wearing a trench coat with a backpack and had a long rifle and opened fire. She also had a child with her. She walked in with a child that they're saying was between the ages of four to five, which really makes this situation a lot worse. She began to fire the long rifle and then two off-duty officers returned fire and actually neutralized her. One of the officers was a TABC agent, which is a Texas Alcohol and Beverage Commission agent, and then the other one was actually a Houston police officer. We don't know if they were attending the services or if they were hired off-duty to come work there, but we do know that there is a lot of security there due to the size of this arena and churches have security all the time but we don't wanna make an assumption of what they were doing there. We just know that they were there and they handled business and they took this person out in a timely manner as fast as they could. As of right now, we don't know if the female shot the child, if maybe a stray bullet from the officer shooting in that direction shot the child. We don't know if she used the child as a shield. We don't know anything right now that's gonna come out in time, but we do know that the child is in a children's hospital in critical condition, but he is safe and out of that, you know, monster's hands. So we, 
hope that he has a speedy recovery and that they can do everything that is needed to get that child the help that he needs. So there was a 57-year-old man who was shot in the leg. This could have been way worse than it was. I'm glad that it was, you know, ended fast and the threat was neutralized. They don't know anything about the motives. They really don't know anything. But we do know whenever she was shooting, she screamed out that she had a bomb. The bomb squad was called. They checked her car. They checked her backpack. They checked her. And they did not find a bomb anywhere. But she did throw some unknown liquid out on the floor uh, right whenever this was taking place, either right before or maybe while she was shooting, she put a bunch of liquid on the floor. They have not identified the liquid. They don't know what it is, but they did bring hazmat in. They brought uh, Houston Fire and all those people to come in. They're going to figure out what that liquid is. They don't really know. It just is kind of a weird situation. She came in with a child, started shooting, put this liquid on the ground, said she had a bomb. They don't know the motives. They're saying that we might not ever know the motives, but they are digging into it, and hopefully we can get some more information in the near future. A lot of these people are really upset because that's their place of worship and they want to be able to go there and not have to worry about these things. But the only advice we can give is you just got to be prepared. You never know what's going to happen. This could happen at the grocery store. This could happen at the mall. This could happen in your neighborhood. Just be prepared at all times because you never know when something like this can happen. That's going to be it for this one, guys. If you want to check out the links in the description below, you can find these news articles and you can go read them for yourself. There's more information on it if you want to do your own little bit of digging. There's links down in the description to support the channel. If you want to go check us out, I would greatly appreciate it. If you don't, you're not going to hurt my feelings. If you could consider subscribing and liking this video, it helps promote the channel to other people that are like us and want to learn these things as well. If you want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here and there's going to be a playlist over here as well. As always, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.